This video is for those totally obsessed tennis players who want a monster kick serve. I'm gonna teach you in this video how to get your ball to bounce higher out of the strike zone and have more bite when it hits the court. So it really attacks your opponent and gets you some really feeble, weak returns for your partner to pounce on and poach or for you to put away the next ball. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I think we need to look at is the grip. So when you wanna have more slice or more kick, I want you to move further over on your grip. So your coach has probably taught you by now, if you're, if you're flirting with the idea of kick, I'm assuming you don't have this frying pan grip that we're at least over in the continental grip. And this is good, and I like this grip right here to where I can kinda of do everything. I can hit the ball flat, I can hit some slice on it, and I can hit some kick on it. But if I wanna hit a sick kick or a slippery slice that slides off the court, I wanna actually open open up my hand more. And whenever I think about adding more spin to my serve, even though Ronich has like a huge serve, really can hit it hard, but I like the way he holds his racket to where those strings are open. So if I'm here, watch this. If I'm more in the traditional stance and gonna, right here when I get set, I'm thinking, okay, I can hit anything on this serve right here. I can go flatter at the ball. I can hit some kick and I can hit some slice. But if I wanna add extra to it, what I'm gonna do, watch this little subtle move that I do right here. See, I just opened up that frame. Notice how the strings are facing up more. And so that's what I wanna do. Now, when I'm hitting a slice, I'm thinking about the strings curving and cutting like this. When I'm thinking about a kick, it's the opposite. Okay, I'm thinking about almost, well I like to think about what you can imagine, this might just help you get a little more kick just as is. Just think about like shooting a free throw, if you've ever played basketball, let me come right to the camera. Think about shooting a free throw, but shoot it off to the side like that. So it's like your, your target's there, but you, you got this type of move with it, right? They call this like the gooseneck that you do on your follow through. In basketball, well, I kind of think about that same thing when I'm hitting a kick serve. All right, so I'm gonna get here in this grip, and then when I go, I think about coming here and really pushing out here. I like to tell people to pretend that uh, they're gonna pass a baton to somebody behind them. Uh, if you watch my buddy Jeff Saldenstein, who's a great instructor, he talks about the dirty diaper, or essentially saying the same thing. And why are we doing this? Because most people who keep asking me if they've hit a kick serve, they keep hitting like a slice kick, or even more of a slice than a kick. Because most people start to cut around the ball too early, and they're adding slice rather than pushing away. Here's another drill you can just practice, just so you can know that this is what you want it to feel like, moving up the strings like that, okay? See that move right there? This will help you get, get that feeling. So as I'm doing that, I wanna come here, and I wanna make sure I don't break too early and too much, and we'll, we'll show you the exact follow through that you want on your kick serve, or more advanced follow through by the end of the video. But we're not gonna work on that now. What we're gonna work on is just being relaxed, having the strings open, hitting that kick serve and practicing the follow through right here. So I'm just gonna hit one and then we'll show you some different angles so you can see what the ball is doing, okay? So here I come, put the ball up and boom. And we had a nice kick serve there and I notice where I follow through. I, I, I follow through right here on that, but I actually want to give you guys a better demo and work on stopping it out here. Let me do that again. Gonna come here, gonna work on stopping it. And really getting that nice action so it's like, boom. Be kind of firm with it too. All right, so you do that, you're gonna start to get more kick. It's gonna start to jump. Let's go to the next tip. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do to get more kick on your serve and to be more healthy and not be in pain is to focus on your chest opening up rather than your back bending and arching, okay? You do have to you know, move your back. You definitely have to have some movement in there, and I don't have the greatest back. If you follow me, you know that. But if you focus more on your chest opening up, another great tip by Jeff Saldenstein, our tennis con all-star, then you're gonna get that same effect, and that's really what you want anyway. You want the chest opening up rather than you just bending and bowing at your back. 
Okay, so in order to do that, I'm tossing the ball a little over my ball cap and I'm just feeling my chest as I'm doing this. I'm just practicing and feeling my chest expand rather than worrying about my back. Okay, because now notice our body's moving two different ways. If I'm just arching the back, look how my body moves this way. Now, if I'm just focused more on the chest, look how it gets set. I look more like a professional tennis player, right? So, focusing more on opening up that chest to get myself in the position to hit that kick serve, okay? So, we're just really exaggerating that. Look how that went over the fence. Boom, look at that thing move right there. Game set again. Okay, see that ball kicking nice. Every time I just focus on opening that chest up, and then hitting that kick serve. There you go, and there's another nice one. Now let's try and work it towards the fence. Okay, so now that we've, we're focused on getting here, we got the ball going right over our ball cap here. This is what we want, getting set in that position. The next thing I want you to think about is actually not racket at speed yet. In fact, we want to slow things down. Because what you want to focus on is that ability to hit almost like a lob off of your kick serve. And a lot of people can't do this. Okay, so being in this position, again, right now, everything we're doing up to this point is just to feel how to get that ball to bounce higher. We're not worried if serves are going in or out. And especially doing this drill, I want you to open up that chest and I want to see if you can hit a lob. Pretend somebody's coming to the net and you got a lob over their head with a serve. You see that? Now look at that big bounce right there. That's the first one we've gone back there and hit the fence. I know it was out, but you could see that clearly had a big bounce to it. So again, I'm going to focus on that again. Coming there, okay? And pretend that we got a lob over their head. In fact, I didn't like that one because, you know, I don't think I would have lobbed over their head. I got to really forget about the serve. That's the key. It's tough to do when you're, when you're practicing. Even when I'm filming this, it gets tough to stop thinking about the result and more about the drill and the skill you're working on to, to develop a weapon. So what I want to do here again is I'm going to throw it up, pretend I've got a lob over somebody coming in. That was a big kick right there, okay? And I think that, I think that even landed in the box. All right, now again, I'm going to really exaggerate up. Look at that one, okay? Look at how high it's bouncing in the fence. Let me do that again. Okay, so you can see whether the ball is going in or out. If I'm getting it high when it's bouncing, naturally it's bouncing high. And if I've got the rotation on it, you know, it's going to go up there. I promise you, if you're between a 3.5 and a 4.0 and you're hitting that high, you're going to get some weak replies. All right, so now that we've got that down, now let's start to get a little more advanced and incorporate our legs. Okay, so now that we got that serve kicking nice, let's think about incorporating the legs, okay? So uh, I think the more you're standing like this, it gets harder to make that thing move. I like to have the legs apart right here, a little a la Johnny Mac style. And what I want to think about now is that as I come back, and my arms rise up, that's when my legs are going to bend, that's when I'm going to extend and pull out the chest, okay? So as I come here and up, now I'm opening up the chest and bending the legs, and then as I'm going to hit, whether you jump or not, this is when we're going to really think about really driving up the legs, okay? So we're going to do a couple on the ground just to show you, you don't need to jump, that you can still use your legs. And then at the end, I'll do a couple where I'm jumping at the serve and still know we are near what I would hit in a match, right? Not warmed up for that. But you're going to see by incorporating the legs how much more action we get on the ball. So watch this. And I'm going to focus more on the sinking down into it and pushing the legs up. We'll do that again. So now I'm going to, I'm going to work on bending the legs more and driving up as I'm opening up my chest here. And driving the chest up. Now look at look at that ball, how high we're getting it. By using our light. We're getting big bounces now, guys. 
okay? We can see big bounces. Again, please don't be concerned at all about in or out, okay? It's about the height. We're trying to get our ball to bounce high. The more you're focused on specific targets for this drill, you're gonna set yourself back. Now, what I wanna do now is that was me on the ground. Now, if you do wanna jump, now you can practice the jump in here and be nice and relaxed with it. And you can see we're getting big bounces now by incorporating a little bit of spring up into the serve. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna pull it all together with the follow through. Uh, now on the slice serve, I really like to finish and do what I call the ice cream scoop finish where I'm coming way around here. On the kick serve, it's different. We wanna scoop in towards our belly button, okay? So finish tight in towards the belly button to really get that ball, to get that extra bounce and bite. So that's what I'm gonna focus on as I'm hitting these. Watch this follow through here, guys, as I come in towards the belly button. See, in there tight right there with that kick serve. We'll show you a couple from the back. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, I will say to really get everything that we worked on today, you probably already have to have a bit of a kick serve. Uh, but if you don't have a kick serve or a slice serve, or you wanna get your toss improved or, or get a flat serve going, I got a great free course for you right now called Serving A to Z. And what you can do is you can click up, I think here in the card section to get that or down in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.